Hi everyone, I'm here to give you a piece of knowledge with different type of speech and topics. In this video, I'm going to introduce the informative speech and the topic that I chose to elaborate. By the way, this is your Calmus College student, Christina Joyce Abad. Before anything else, allow me to give you a brief definition of informative speech. According to Google, a verbal lowdown that provides any kind of information about a certain topic to the audience is called an informative speech. I won't explain the informative speech anymore because the definition itself is quite understandable and vivid. So shall I proceed to the topic? The topic that was chosen is communication informative speech. And we have two questions to answer, which are how to be a persuasive speaker and how to improve your conversation skills. Question number one, how to be a persuasive speaker. I have here the list on how to be a persuasive speaker. We have here the grabbing audience attention, demonstrate passion, be easy to understand, make a content real, and use effective body language. Grab audience attention. You have to make your audience listen to you attentively from the very start because once you did, they would think that your speech is worth of their time. Next is demonstrate passion. For you to be more enticing, you must have passion where your passion must reflect a belief that the message you are presenting is for their benefit, not your own. Be easy to understand. Don't complicate others and don't complicate yourself. Just make a speech where everyone in the society or every listener you have could understand it easily. Make a content real. Make sure that your content is pure and not manipulated. Real content enhances your argument strength and makes your overall message more persuasive. Last, use effective body language. Your manners of speaking posture, physical movements, and even facial expression are more important when you're persuading. Question number two, how to improve your conversation skills? A, listen actively to others. B, pay attention to details. C, offer interesting insights. And D, use the right words. Letter A, listen actively to others because listening shows that we're interested in what the other person have to say. Letter B, paying attention to details. An individual with strong conversation skill notices the details that an average person might not notice. Like for example, you notice how fluent the other party is in English. Then you'd bring that up in your conversation to show to that certain person that they have your undivided attention. Letter C, offer interesting insights. For you to offer in-depth knowledge, you should explore and try to read books or articles. Lastly, use the right words. You have to find the right words to convey the exact feelings or thoughts. Develop your vocabulary and practice communicating accurately as possible for you to express yourself more easily. So that ends our topic. Bye and see you guys next time.